there. That's it. That's him. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? Why am I intro now? You should already have an inkling as to who I am and what I do. But for some of you slow ones out there, for some of you who are more challenged in the mental department, Mr. Warmack is definitely in the fucking Bill Dion. Now, I'm going to talk about a subject that has got me. Uh, cut, I cut some heat off on YouTube. And I guess I'm going to talk about the, the comparisons of, with the homosexuals, the black people. And I'm going to do it and make a point. I keep telling you that they're going to keep pushing this button on these sympathetic, ignorant-ass black people comparing them, their lifestyle, I might add you, to black people. The NAACP and Urban League, they all hopped aboard this train, this, this fuckery and foolery train, because you know why? We, they were, we remember our struggle, too. Let me put it to you this way, and I'm going to compare. You can get mad at me all you want. So if some guy screws a sheep, I'm supposed to feel like, well, go ahead, because I remember when I, you know, I remember when I had to drink out of a, a colored drinking water fountain. This is your, this is your ration now. And here's how stupid black people have become. These motherfuckers are not even trying to give you a, a legit, you know, well thought excuse. They're just throwing shit at the wall, and, and with black people, you can throw shit at the wall when it sticks. 100% of the time. Because how is a deviant lifestyle? And look, man, you can get mad at me all you want. And you can say the Bible and the Quran and the Torah are outdated. But if, if that's your religion, if you practice that religion, that's not, those books are not outdated. Now I'm going to hear somebody say, well, the Bible says don't eat shellfish. Motherfucker, I don't eat shellfish. Oh, the Bible says, well, in the Bible, they used to have sex with little kids. Catholics, ding. What? I got a counter for all your counters. The fact of what it is, and here, here's how, here's how, here's how ignorant this shit has got. It's got to the point where I'm watching like, oops, and I'm doing this at the same time. Here's how ignorant the. It's become where being in an interracial relationship is still rejected, but if you're in a gay relationship. You celebrate. Like back where I'm from, well, there's two places. Like I said, I was born in Brooklyn. Shout out to Crown Heights. Shout out to everybody on Nostrum and Presidents. Uh, shout out to everybody in Albany Projects. What's going on? And then we moved outside of Pittsburgh in a place called Connellsville, Pennsylvania. And then the Ville, it was just like down south. Let's keep it real. Southwestern Pennsylvania, the Pittsburgh area. Is highly, highly, deeply segregated. And let me explain to you like this. And it's, and it's all races, so I'm, what, I'm, what, what I'm saying goes for every race. If they know you, you good money. If they don't know you, then it's a problem. And honestly, that's like every race, so I'm just going to leave it like that. But back to the topic at hand. The homosexuals now are getting these mainstream news media. Not, and they're not even getting like the cable ones, not the, the top cable companies. They're, now they're getting these local little outlets to get their little, you know, input on it. And they're fucking in the, the fucking the pull up even more. Let me go in. There was a, a viral video. And I'm going to play it here in a, right now. It was quite a weekend. That little dust up in Lubbock Saturday night. And then yesterday, Missouri's All-American defensive end Michael Sam, the SEC's Defensive Player of the Year and expected to be a third to fifth round pick in the NFL draft, tells the world he's gay. The best defensive player in college football's best conference, only a third to fifth round NFL pick? Really? That is shocking. And I guess that other thing is too. 
Michael Sam would be the first openly gay player in the NFL, says he knows there will be problems and they've already started. Several NFL officials telling Sports Illustrated it will hurt him on draft day because a gay player wouldn't be welcome in an NFL locker room. It would be uncomfortable because that's a man's world. You beat a woman and drag her down a flight of stairs, pulling her hair out by the roots, you're the fourth guy taken in the NFL draft. You kill people while driving drunk, that guy's welcome. Players caught in hotel rooms with illegal drugs and prostitutes, we know they're welcome. Players accused of rape and pay the woman to go away. You lie to police trying to cover up a murder, we're comfortable with that. You love another man, well now you've gone too far. It wasn't that long ago when we were being told that black players couldn't play in our games because it would be uncomfortable. And even when they finally could, it took several more years before a black man played quarterback because we weren't comfortable with that either. So many of the same people who used to make that argument and the many who still do are the same people who say government should stay out of our lives but then want government in our bedrooms. I've never understood how they feel comfortable laying claim to both sides of that argument. I'm not always comfortable when a man tells me he's gay. I don't understand his world, but I do understand that he's part of mine. Civil rights activist Audre Lorde said, it is not our differences that divide us, it is our inability to recognize, accept, and celebrate those differences. We've always been able to recognize them. Some of us accept them. And I want to believe that there will be a day when we do celebrate them. I don't know if that day's here yet. I guess we're about to find out. But when I listen to Michael Sam, I do think it's time to celebrate him now. Okay. I played that viral video. And you saw, I don't know his name, you know, somebody will give me his name in the comments or he'll tell me and I'll write it down. You saw over, he's a sports caster somewhere in Dallas, maybe Lubbock, somewhere in, somewhere in Texas. And he's talking, in the first like two minutes or something, I want to say 214, he gave you a chest pump and a good old, he gave you a good nice little story. Didn't that feel good? He gave you a, a, a tugged your heartstrings. He gave you a, you know, it was warm. It was like, you know, it was this, like, America can do this. We're better than that. But what old Vern forgot. Now I want you guys to listen to that video again the whole way. For the, the problem that he had in my eyes is when he started comparing uh, a sin to homosexual, I mean, a uh, sin to a race. When he started saying, well, there were times where black folks couldn't play in baseball. Well, you probably, you know, saw that time, I bet you. Big deal. There was a time, look, Jews were slaves in Egypt. They just happen to roll the world now. <laughs> Inside joke, I'm sorry. Let me go on. There is nothing the Bible doesn't say against slavery. And that's the hard string y'all want to pull on. Where you were a slave, I was never, and technically, you guys want, while well, you all, you Illuminati cocksuckers, were all slaves, so. But, you try, you try to pull on the hard strings. Well, you were a slave once. And if I had, and if my ancestors may have been slaves, but I have to get past that. I can't hold that. That's just a part, that's a chapter in America. I myself was never a slave. Now, if I put myself in a position to be a slave, that's on me. But bet this, I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down trying. But that's another story for another day. This is about how old Vern fucked up. He started comparing homosexuality to race, and, and unfortunately, a lot there's a, there's a certain amount of us on YouTube that talk about this, and you guys know who they are. But we're deemed as, you know, hate mongers and uh, intolerant. No, we're not intolerant. If you're a true believer of the Bible or of Islam, I mean, of the, of the Torah or of uh, the Quran, then that's, that's your practice. Look, man, I have nothing against homosexuals. If that's what you do, that's what you do. It's none of my business what you do when the lights go out. I could care, I could care less what you do. But what I, what, I, what I do care about is how if you want to make yourself look like you're like a race now. When's the last time you checked off homosexuality on your job application? You sure as hell won't because you, first of all, unless, unless you're the, uh, the flamboyant ones like the like the one on the, what's, what's that, what's that, hey man, what's that, um, hey, what's that, uh, what's that show with the Sambo Wives of Atlanta, something like that? 
You know what I'm talking about? Walmart wives act like Sambo's. What, what, I forget them, the Sambo Housewives of Atlanta, one of them shows. They're all the same to me. Like the Sambo Preachers of LA, the Sambo Housewives of Atlanta, you know what I'm talking about. There's a gay guy on the Sambo Housewives of Atlanta. And he's, 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 you can tell, he's one of the gay people that, like, whenever he's walking down the street, there's like a party, like a, like a Macy's Day parade or something. He's one of them gay people. You know what I'm talking about? He has to let you know, you know, hey, he's gay. Look, I'm like, look, dude, I know you're gay. You know, it ain't like, you know, it ain't like it's, it ain't like it's like, you know, we're Jimmy Hoffa's bear. You can tell you are. But, I don't like that he compared, I just don't like it. It's not an actual fair comparison. Because I, I explained in the previous videos, during the civil rights era, when my ancestors and other white folks and Jewish people, because all Jews aren't white, that's just, I'm going to go in. But uh, when they were fighting for my rights, you did not see open homosexuals down south marching. You didn't see that. There may have been a couple. One, there may have been a couple in the closet. I'll give you that. It's mathematically possible. But in the open, you do not see a march down south. You wanna know why? And I said this on the last video, and we'll say it again. Them old boys would have been on your ass, and not in the way you wanted them to be on your ass. Quicker than they would have been on my ass. So that goes to show you the deception. But then again, black people are stupid. They'll fall for anything. You fell for the Obama phones. You fell for not voting. Whenever you got as much money as you could on your EBT cards, remember that, that glitch? Y'all went berserk at Walmart. You don't enforce nothing in your neighborhoods. And you love buffoonery and coonery. I'd go in on that, but don't let that marinate in your fucking brain. And when you guys when you guys actually decide to do something about it and to change, let me know. Because right now, this shit's never gonna change unless we do it one at a time, and that's how I'm doing it. So I'm out. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.